I'm going to talk about blockchain as the truth machine. And we heard that some things are possible, some things aren't possible. Forget all that. I'm going to tell you it's possible. There are some caveats to it, but we're going to work on the tech. So blockchain, number one, is not crypto, because um, there's a huge misconception, especially right now, because the charts are going down and people are panicking. Um, but let's first consider the internet before and digital systems prior to blockchain. We use a centralized server that someone owns, a company owns, they control it. They can erase data, they can manipulate the data, they can change the algorithms, they can hide the algorithms, they own the algorithm. And like Noah said, I mean, we sometimes have no idea what that algorithm is doing. Now, should that be the case? Should we allow for these entities to have that control? Should we allow to have these entities to have control of what we see? Now, it could be a company. It could be an employee in there who has this control. It could be a programmer, a DevSop, who's going into the system and making changes. It could be a hacker, but it's centrally controlled. Now, if you're happy with this, you can stop listening here. But based upon what I saw before, it seems like people want transparency. And I would actually ask you, um, a show of hands, who wants more transparency or control on the algorithm? Okay, very good. Because I actually didn't believe that people wanted this and people were happy with it. And this is very encouraging. So, Blockchain 101. It's a bunch of computers working around the world, but you know what it's providing? the end of the day, a single computer and a single abstract com computer that we're all using. That is what they're all doing, and that's ironic. We've been working decades in computer science to have computers working around the world. Now we're providing one that we're all using, but it's a bit different. This one cannot be controlled by any single entity. And no matter how much they try, they will not manage. That's what blockchain does. Yet, at the same time, users can use the system as intended. And this is because the code will do exactly what it's written to do, nothing more, nothing less. And that can be a problem, we can discuss that a bit later. And it does this ensuring that no one has control over the system. All data cannot be removed. Now, that can also be a problem, right? If you say something one day and you want to hide in the future, if it's on the blockchain, you're never getting rid of it. So we need to make sure that we're not releasing confidential information or some statements that we might want to remove in future. And all of this is done in an open and transparent manner. So what can we actually do with blockchain? Can we create this truth machine? Can we provide more truth, more transparency into our social media? Well, users at least can know that their data has not been manipulated, or that any data has not been manipulated. So what, right? Well, no, I think people care. This is actually what caused this crypto cash. And um, some, uh, this guy, SBF, he removed the tweet that he originally put up. So it seems like we do care sometimes that tweets are going missing. Uh, Elon Musk did the same thing. The White House did the same thing. So it seems like sometimes we care about public statements. Also, we can be guaranteed that no one is manipulating the algorithm because it's public. Everyone can see it. Is this a big um, problem? Well, let's consider this scenario. We have many companies working around the world, and um, because we have companies working around the world, and they're working together on some problem, what happens when someone messes up? When someone messes up, let's say this is a contractor, and he is working with another um, company, and the contractor does his job, but the audit company doesn't do their job, and the whole thing explodes. What would the company do? Let's hide our tracks. Let's, let's make it seem like he didn't do his job. This is human nature. So we could actually do that if we had a single computer that someone is in control of. If we had a blockchain, we cannot do that. So users can know that the manipulation of algorithm is impossible. The algorithm itself is transparent, and that was actually a point that was listed in the manifesto or the manifesto that's being built up. You want a transparent algorithm. So, if you want conspiracy theories, 
We can give you conspiracy theories, and we can show you the algorithm that gave you the conspiracy theories. You want to see them? Why not? You want to see cat videos? Here are your cat videos. And this is the algorithm that was used to give you cat videos. Here is your political preference content. And not only that, if a company or if anyone is sending you content to make you specifically vote in a particular way, we can show you that algorithm. So, do you really think someone who is in charge of that algorithm, if there was someone in charge of the algorithm, would they really show you that they tried to make you vote differently? I don't think so. So, the algorithm itself can be transparent. Now, many touted when blockchain came about that it was going to solve fake news. And many people still believe that it does, but this particular um, quote over here says, uh, based on my user experience, the only solution, where were the best? I believe the contrary. Um, the vision of grammar proof blockchain is becoming real to create inclusive. No, that wasn't it. Um, I can't find what I wanted from here. No, I believe blockchain may just be the remedy we're looking for. Now, is that really the case or is that fake news itself? So, I'm quoting one of my papers here, I was in a rush um, this morning. Um, the real truth about blockchain, though, is what is set in stone may not need to be more reliable than what is scribbled on a piece of paper. So, garbage in, garbage out. The mechanisms provided by the blockchain assure that data can't be manipulated. The data going into it can still be as fake or as untruthful as any other system. Now, the blockchain doesn't provide a solution to that, but what it does provide a solution to is, number one, we can trust the platform. If we can't trust the platform, how can we trust the content on the platform? So blockchain at least provides us this mechanism to trust the platform. Excellent. It also then allows for us to verify who said what, when. Which event happened when. And if, this, is, this is very important, the when. Because we have technology already that allows us to verify who said what. You can digitally sign something. But the when is what the blockchain provides. You said something on a particular date, and it is irrefutable. And we can also achieve this in an anonymous manner. Just in case you're worrying that everything I'm going to do, everyone's going to know about it, there are solutions to also being anonymous. So, we built, we're going to build a solution, but we need to educate as well. Okay, we can verify. John said X, Mary said Y, Kelly said Z. Okay, I know they said it. Now what? How do I know that that is actually true? So, we can also provide some sort of credibility scores. Not ourselves, you come up with them, them yourselves. You look into your friends and you give them credibility scores. And then you can decide how credible they were based upon your inputs. What do the experts think? Who are the experts? Can we verify that they are experts? So, we don't have that input, we can't know if someone's an expert, but you can decide for yourself if you believe the art expert. And you can know that that individual really said that thing at that particular time. And this is going to create a lot of information, right? And people are going to have to navigate all of this different content. So we need to educate people how they're going to navigate when that sort of content is available. And we need to make sure, finally, that platforms are correct. Because if they're not working correct, what's the point of having them? So we will also need to regulate the platform. And this is actually something very important in the blockchain space. Because the code will do exactly what it's written to do, nothing more, nothing less, forever. If there's a bug in it, that bug will be there forever. This is in fact why Malta set up a regulator specifically on this, to make sure that technology is working correct. So we also need to look into regulation on making sure that our platforms are correct. So to wrap up, um, blockchain as a truth machine, whilst blockchain on its own cannot determine the truth, blockchain can provide the blockchain truth. Whatever is in the blockchain happened. It can't be manipulated, it can't be changed. But on top of it then, we can build other tools to navigate real world.